we know the star test has the same level of difficulty from year to year. On each star test, students will answer a small number of questions, usually six or fewer, that don't count towards the student's score. These are field test questions. Through field testing, we can determine the difficulty level of each question. If 15% of students answer the field test question incorrectly, we know it's an easier question. If 75% of the students answered the field test question incorrectly, we know it's a harder question. After field testing, we have different questions that represent varying difficulty levels and SEs, or student expectations. Each question is analyzed based on how it performed on the field test. Questions that do not meet requirements are thrown away. For example, if one student group performed much better than another on a particular question, that question may be removed due to a possible bias. Questions that meet all requirements are put back into an item bank for potential use on future STAR tests. Each year, STAR tests are built using questions from the item bank. Because we know the individual difficulty level of each of the questions, we also know the difficulty level of the entire test. When building the STAR test year after year, we can make sure the difficulty level of the test remains the same. While individual questions can be easier or harder in a given year, the mix of question difficulty is balanced across the years using field test results. This process is why we have raw scores and scale scores. A student's raw score is the number of questions a student answers correctly on a test. Raw scores cannot be compared from year to year. For example, getting three questions right one year is not the same as getting three questions right another year because the questions may be different difficulty levels. As a result, raw scores must be converted to scale scores. Scale scores allow us to take into account the varying difficulty levels of the questions that make up a particular year's test. Scale scores allow us to compare student performance across different years of the same test, and each year we produce a chart that shows each raw score and its equivalent scale score. This is why a student may need to answer a different number of questions correctly in a given year to reach a certain performance level. In 2019, students needed to answer 26 questions correctly out of the 36 total questions to meet grade level. In 2021, students needed to answer 25 questions correctly out of 36 total questions to meet grade level. However, the scale score needed to meet grade level was the same these two years. This process ensures that meets grade level equals meets grade level each year. For more information on how the Texas Assessment Program supports students, please visit texasassessment.gov.